unconscious bias is real. Um, I'm a product of white privilege, so I don't have any problem saying that out loud. I'm coming to you today from Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm getting ready to speak at Louisville Startup Week on the topic of moving from founder-led selling into hiring your first sales rep. I actually did this exact same talk yesterday in St. Louis as they started their STL Startup Week. And I had an interesting question from the audience towards the end of my talk. A woman raised her hand and said, but what about DEI and hiring sales reps? And so I looked at the organizer and said, which time do I have left? And he said, 23 minutes. And I said, okay, so let's go ahead and go down the rabbit hole. Let's go ahead and just put the elephant in the room right front smack dab on the table. The majority of VC funding is going to white founders, white male founders, in fact. And the reason why the majority of VC funding is going to white male founders is because 40 and 50 year old white men are running the venture capital world. And so they're investing in people who look like them that have the same background as them and that they really understand. And so what I shared with the woman in the audience who asked about this was the following. If you want diversity, equity, and inclusion in your not only sales teams, but in your startups, you're gonna have to go find it. The reality is when I post a job for a client, I'm gonna get 250 resumes in the first 36 hours. But of those 250 resumes, mostly looking for hunters, but sometimes looking for customer success or other things, I'm normally gonna get about five or six women apply and about maybe three to five minorities, uh, brown or black people apply. And most of the brown and black people who apply are gonna be men. And so if you take the 250 that I've just gotten and you subtract the 10 uh, women, women of color, men of color, and I'm wor look, working with a pool of 10. And probably out of the 10, I may actually pull one or two that are truly actually qualified based on the type of person that I'm looking for. So normally in my early startup world, I am looking for people with three to five years of SaaS experience. Um, and so those are the true statistics. And this is really a product of cultural fit versus cultural ad. If you truly want a diverse workforce or a diverse sales team, you're gonna have to go out into those communities and find them. There are Slack channels where you can go get these folks there are LinkedIn groups or that you can join and be part of that community. But unfortunately, you're going to have to pull instead of push because when we push out into the world with a job description, despite the fact that I put at the end of the job descriptions with the clients that I work with, um, please don't feel like you have to check 99% of the boxes under the qualification. If you check 70% of those boxes, you should apply. If you don't look like the founder or the rest of the sales team, you should apply. But the fact of the matter is not everybody does. And so I'm encouraging you to get out of your comfort zone. If you'd like to have a longer conversation, please connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, follow me on Instagram, christyjones.sales. Follow me on YouTube, Christy K. Jones. I have a lot of uh, opinions about this. Uh, I'm also the mother of a biracial child. So um, despite the fact that I know that I grew up and I have white privilege, I understand the struggle of black and brown folks. And so I'm happy to have a longer conversation with you on a different day. Thank you so much for letting me rant about a topic that I am passionate about and that frustrates the hell out of me. Have a good day.